Community policing is different than regular policing, I would say. A community police officer is embedded within the community and it's all about trust building. There's more of a commitment on getting to know the community on a day-to-day -day basis, both good and bad, versus uh, patrol officers or deputies typically respond to incidents after they've already occurred. The regular patrol deputies are just, they just don't have the time and they don't have the resources to support my concerns. I've been with the Sheriff's Office for 26 years. Uh, 17 of those years have been in Corbett. Originally I was the school resource officer for six years and presently I've been assigned as the community resource officer for the past 11 years. Joe, because he knows the community so well, is able to uh, be made available to me and also give me insight uh, with information that uh, helps me to resolve a lot of the livability issues that the uh, County Health Department uh, addresses out here in Corbett. Corbett is not an actual city. They're more of a township in the unincorporated area. They have their own fire department, their own water district, and their own school district and they all work together under the auspices of a uh, community association to address any issues or concerns within the community. My role in the community is to be there as a resource and sometimes an advocate to help the citizens with any issues that they might have. It could be uh, just assisting at the store with a, an ongoing maybe a theft or a fraud issue. It could be offering resources or advice to a family on a civil matter or even a potential elder abuse situation. There's just a number of situations that the community officer is involved in. I think the most important thing Deputy Graziano has done has created the Citizens Patrol. And that's a group of a couple dozen citizens up here. And they patrol routinely up here to kind of back up the Sheriff's Office. It's a force multiplier. Joe's got two set of eyes, but he just added 24 more people that are running around here. And even when they're not on duty, they're essentially always the eyes and ears of the Sheriff's Department. Being a community resource officer is very important to me. It's become a part of my life and in, in a way uh, who I am. Over the years, I've developed friendships with members of the community. I've built trust. And whenever they're a victim of a crime or some other type of serious incident, it really affects me and I wanna help them resolve the matter as, as quickly as possible. During the Eagle Creek fire, we didn't get notice for up here that we needed to be on our way and get ready to go. And all of a sudden there was a knock on the door. We were told you've got 30 minutes to get out. And I got down the hill and Rocky was sitting down there at the corner of Brower Road and Larch Mountain Road. And I said, oh, I feel comfortable stopping there and asking him, did you contact this neighbor? Did you get a hold of that neighbor? And he's like, oh, I've got this person, and I'll send somebody off for that person, and thank you so much. And it's really important to be able to feel like you can stop, you can ask something, and no one says, move on, ma'am, or keep going. You know, it's, it's the ability to have the comfort to know that you can ask him something and he's not going to blow you off. Or, I mean, he's going to be right there for you. Our ability to provide true community policing is important and I'm really proud to be a part of this.